everybody and welcome to our 20th episode hip hip hooray Lisa. i know this is the 20th episode girlfriend we're going to be doing a new stinger at the front of our video that michael will put on this week it is going to be amazing well I absolutely so special. you are special you are special i never thought i'd make it to 20. I think that's great. I, you know, it. we just keep on rolling. Just, I'm mm -hmm. like the Ever Ready Bunny. I wish I was the Ever Ready Bunny today. <laughs> but we keep rolling we do what and we rolling do. and rolling. Yeah. And we keep going. Yeah. And I am just so excited. It's yeah. our 20th that's episode. Awesome. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Yes, Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. My name is Dr. Marilyn Scott. And um, I am a naturopathic doctor. And I've been out of retirement for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I am definitely coming out of retirement next week, Lisa. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, I won't be watching my grandchildren. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, tomorrow is going to be a bittersweet day. Oh, yeah. um, it's the last day. Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's They'll okay. still be visiting it's you fine. plenty, I'm sure. That's right. <laughs> there are a lot of us that want to, you know, help you with your show and I'm sure a lot of people love to be on the show so it gives you more time to meet with people and get some wonderful people to come on the show now so yeah. thank you yeah. I can't believe I got emotional over that well but why not they're they're your grandbabies it's okay are. to get emotional yes. I, get, I get emotional on mine just looking at the pictures <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah they've been such a huge part of your life and that's now right well, they have that's transitioning. right transitioning yeah so it's and i'm giving them to. wings and my daughter's giving me wings you're getting wings to fly that's right and take so, off with this um, wonderful show you, you can have. take care of my little ones if you <laughs> feel like you need some boys <laughs> oh do you have two boys i do oh, i have a five-year-old and a two-year-old oh Sunday. those are a whole lot easier <laughs> my two that i watch are a three-year-old and he just turned 11 months yesterday oh, mm. and he is into everything on the move <laughs> look out <laughs> I, we have to close the door oh yes it's you know to keep him from doing anything to keep him safe do, do you want a good to laugh keep him what my, I, I went over to my daughter's house they invited us for dinner and I got into the bathroom and they're all waiting outside I don't know this and she's put the lock on the inside mm -hmm. of the bathroom so that my granddaughter can't lock herself in so they're all outside laughing I'm going how do I get out of here <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's priceless. But, oh, she was waiting for that moment. Oh, my gosh. She was hilarious. giggling like a little girl. She just thought that was hilarious that her mom was locked in the bathroom. Oh, mm. yeah, that. <laughs> you need one of those little sticks that goes in there. Yeah. Right. It, we used to put them on the top of the door jams. Yeah, we did. And it just popped the lock. and um, We've got yeah. one over there. Just in case yeah. Jacob would decide to. Well, lock I think the she door. was worried that they might lose that. So she. And went, then what are you gonna? Hey, do? what are you gonna do if the child's in the bathroom and the, and you can't get in? So. Yeah. Get a toothpick. Get a toothpick. Uh, yeah. I'm young. I can't say we haven't had to do that once or twice in our house. Have so. you? Who hasn't? Yeah, two oh. little boys. They just everything uh, needs to be tinkered five with. Five and two. That's mm -hmm. incredible. God bless you. Oh goodness. <laughs> and then there was the time my mother was pregnant with me, and my da my dad had taken the handle off the pantry door for some reason on the inside mm -hmm. she sat on that floor pregnant with me for three hours and oh, no. she said it was great because my brother uh, the the middle one the other one was at school would be was real good she said go get paper and some crayons and I want you to sit right outside the door and color she said but when my dad came home she says you better run and take him with you <laughs> with oh my time. gosh I can't even imagine I, for three hours sitting on the floor pregnant with me. wow uh. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful, though? Yes. I mean, time has flown so fast. Yeah. Jacob is three. Sammy is almost, he's going to be a year next month. Mm -hmm. My other yeah. grandson, Isaac, who I'm going to see next week, um, he's going to be, he's a year and a half. Wow. My granddaughter's going to be two. Your granddaughter's this going month? to be two. In September. Aww. Yeah. Those are such sweet ages. I know. Ages. But, boy. You challenging. Uh, challenging. And then she's got a baby <laughs> brother who's due right before Christmas. So. I mean, wow. you have to... When the kids are young like that, you have to, it's physical. Yeah. It's a lot of physical. It's, it's keeping physical up with them, running yes. after them, picking them up, and, yeah. um, you know, move, a lot of movement. Yes. When mm -hmm. they get older, it's mental. Yeah. Where are they? What's going on? <laughs> are they behaving themselves? I can see what you're doing in that room. I can oh, see. Gosh. Now, I am fortunate. Um, my kids are all married now, yeah. hip, hip, hooray, yeah. and they're all adults. Mm -hmm. My youngest, and this is 
my youngest is going to be 34 next month. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel old when she turns. <laughs> I don't feel old when the others have a birthday, but when she has a birthday, it's yeah. like, oh, the baby. God. Yeah, my yeah. baby. My baby's 26 and my daughter's yeah. 29. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. it bothers me. I don't let it bother me anymore, but it really used to bother me, and I probably will on her birthday sure. for just a, ni a nanosecond. They'll always be your baby. They will. I don't care how old they are. They yeah. will. Yeah. They'll always, you know, when you have kids and you viewers out there, you probably understand what I'm talking mm. about. Doesn't matter how old they are, they're still your children. That's right. They're yeah. still your children. Always will be. And I am so glad that Lisa Hazel Grove is with me for the next three weeks. I'm so excited because yes. Josie's Ooh. doing a lot of things that she needs to get done. Yeah. She's a GMA tonight. She has to go um, go to a diff bunch of different schools. It's back to school night. Yep. Or, yep. You know, yep. and okay. so that's what she's doing. And then mm -hmm. she's got a couple other things she's doing the next two weeks. So Lisa has yes. been kind enough, and man, she's bailed me out before, thank God. Um, I, I just feel blessed that Aww. we are friends, and, and we're going to be working more together starting next week after... Yes. Um, you get your wings. If I get my wings, yes, after right. I get my wings. That's after right. I get my wings. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. And we have a wonderful guest tonight, Malika Kareem, and I want to thank Akila Collins, who was on my show a couple weeks yes. ago, for um, referring Malika to me, and Wonderful. it is so nice to yes. have you here. Thank you so much. And um, I'm just really excited that she's here. She yeah. has a company called Pure Yoga RVA. And last week I made the declaration, which my children were very, very happy about. Good. Because they want me to get this weight off that we I'm to going to lose 40 pounds by okay. December 31st. Awesome. Wow, you can do it. Yes, she can. We talked about intention. We mm -hmm. talked about the passion. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I will have more time to devote to myself mm -hmm. yeah. and to take exercise classes to devote to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So because I haven't had time to do that. No, of course not. You, you, you no. know, you think about someone who's in their 30s or, mm -hmm. or in their, their 20s having children and uh, you know my daughter is 30 years younger than I am so <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult for me to run around after you know my granddaughter well mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah yeah I mean I'm ready for Medicare in, <laughs> in January <laughs> Seriously, I you have way too much sponsorship. I know, right? Can, I here. know that just doesn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> tell the people who keep sending me things to remind me on a weekly basis that I'm going to be 65 in January. Yes, I will be 65 in January. My kids would never let me lie about my age. Yeah. Um, Do they bust I your bubble? Pardon me? Do they bust your bubble when you try to maybe they used be to, mysterious? They used to, yeah, but you know. Um, no, my mom is 30-something. So, But my kids say, well, how do you feel? Yeah. Well, I feel That's like I'm 30-something. That That's all that matters. Exactly That's all right. that matters. Yeah. I feel like I'm 30-something. It's their mindset. And there are plenty of 30-somethings that feel like they're 65, yeah, probably. that feel like they're, you know, older in age. It all depends on yeah. what we give to our bodies. Exactly. You know, I was talking to somebody on the phone a couple days ago that um, about a, a, a business, mm -hmm. and... I don't remember where this, this lady lived out in Utah and she was talking to me and um, she said, how old are you? Oh. And I said, I'm 64. She says, you are? <laughs> and I said, I am. Yeah. And she goes, you sound like you're 34. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I feel like I'm 34. I, yeah. But when you watch two little kids, if you're not feeling like you're 34, <laughs> you won't be able to watch. That's why, and we all know this, that's why women have babies when they're young exactly because yes. we can't well, I have enough trouble keeping up with them at my age yes. but, and you know I hate to be such a nerd but there's a lot of studies coming out about bringing young children yes. around elderly people around old older people to yes. help keep that youth yes. Yes. there's some type of yes. exchange of energy they have the little done people a study the they've done a study that says grandmas who take care of their grandchildren mm -hmm. Mm -hmm don't suffer from dementia and Alzheimer's. Wow. Yep. That's, yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Jacob and I have been doing a lot of puzzles. Ah. And one day he says, I want to do that puzzle up there with all the fish on it. Oh. It was a hundred piece puzzle. No. And I hadn't done puzzles for a long time. I'd seen him do 24 piece puzzles with um, Ninja Turtles and Paw Patrol. And he does them oh. real easy. I said, Jacob, 
This is a hundred piece puzzle. <laughs> Do you understand uh, yes. what you're and getting us And he's two, into? you know, yeah. he's not quite three yet. And I said, Jacob, this is a 100-piece puzzle. And he goes, I don't care, Grandma. I want to do it. Oh, my goodness. And we did it. And we got it done like in an hour and a half. That's incredible. And now he's doing 100-piece puzzles. He's doing 60-piece puzzles. He's doing these puzzles by himself yeah. now. And mm -hmm. I have learned a lot from watching him mm -hmm. because I was always taught to do the outside. Well, he does the part where it's the most pictorial first. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then he, yeah. That's incredible. I've been, and it's been a real learning experience for mm. me, but it's also been a way to stay calm, mm -hmm. cool, calm, yeah. and collected because he's, he is really into the puzzle. And you know, at his age, he'll stay with it until it's done. That's awesome. That's really phenomenal that, that for his age. And yes. I think you're probably teaching him yeah. some how to be a little more grounded, how to be a little more still. I'm so it's like a perfect blend. <laughs> yes. I mean, it probably yeah. is. He, I mean, <laughs> The way he does these puzzles, I've learned a lot yeah. because mm -hmm. I had done zig jig jigsaw puzzles for a long time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, probably since I was a kid. And the puzzles that he was doing, the hundred piece puzzles, that was for ages six and up. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. And he was doing them. Yeah. And I'm thinking, okay, and the, the Thomas the Train ones we have that yeah. are 60 pieces were for ages four and up, and he's three. Mm -hmm. He just turned three a mm -hmm. couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. That's so awesome. That is very good. A great yeah. attention span. Yeah. That is, I know, stay right? with it. That's good. You know, I wanted to walk away because I got frustrated. <laughs> no, Grandma, we're going to stay with it. So, yeah. you know, and, and helping with focusing and staying yeah. balanced mm -hmm. like that yes. is so important. It is important. It's really everything. It's it is. everything. Yeah. Because if you're focused, you, ha you have everything that you, can, you need. Yeah. And... It helps you when you're successful because mm -hmm. when you're successful, you're out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it, but if you stay focused, mm -hmm. the comfort zone isn't the, being out of the comfort zone isn't so scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, I have found holistically that really helps me because yeah. when I started this show, oh mm -hmm. my goodness, you know, it was yeah. pretty overwhelming. And I remember I went to a networking group and they said. I said what I was doing, and I was doing this show yeah. live, and Andy Fulgham said, that's scary. Yeah, it is. That's really it's scary. scary. It is scary. Is it? And I said, no, oh. it's not scary. It's not. I think it's pretty cool. I yeah. think you're doing a phenomenal job. Well, and thank you. I can't wait to see episode 200. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to come yes. in the future, but um, I wanted to talk a little bit about yoga. Because I saw some of your poses, which um, they're on my bucket list. <laughs> they're okay. on my bucket list. I can't do them now. No, no, no. You don't need to. Um, <laughs> but some of them are awesome. They are awesome. And when you get into them, you feel awesome. It's just this sense of freedom you know you, f you feel like you, you look at these poses and you say you know she's a little twisted or bound here but it's a se sense of freedom to feel what your body can really do for you right you know? um, the way that I love to teach yoga people you know people like to advertise the advanced poses quite a bit because it draws tension it's yeah. just like oh that's cool but you know, rarely do you see those poses in my classes because that's not really where we, where most people are. And right. it's important for yoga to meet you where you are yes. for it to be effective. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, where some instructors go wrong is that we, they try to teach to, um, I don't want to call it gimmick yoga, but the commercial yoga, what you see, they try to teach people how to do the things that they think are cool yeah. and they want to get excited but about. But your body doesn't move that way. That's not and what our bodies age, are prepared to accept. My body doesn't move yeah. that way. No, 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 it's not. So very rarely, you know, do we re really even need to go to those poses mm -hmm. because I'm an instructor and, you know, I have a certain level of flexibility and strength. My body craves that yeah. extra piece of challenge. Yeah. So then that's where you start to explore the more advanced poses. For, for most of us, it's nice to look at as a forethought to give us guidance toward a goal but right. most of us can get the healing and the comfort we need in much more simplistic poses now I, I took a couple yoga classes in July when I had time because I was still watching the boys and there were some poses in one of the classes that they were on my bucket list mm -hmm. but she said if you can't do these just do modified or if you get tired go into child's pose yes. now do you mm -hmm. tell your clients to go into child pose if 
they get tired or they can't quite do it or they're achy or something? I, oh, I do provide that option. Um, I like for people to, because I already teach from a conscious point of, right. you know, not giving people too much, I do like for people to taste it, to try it. And then if you feel like that's not what your body wants for today, yeah. go into a modification or go into your child's pose. Okay. Um, but some for some of us, we need that extra push. Yes. You yeah. know, if I offer child's pose right away, you might have too many child's poses and not right. quite giving your body well, that I chance. Well, so. I've been trying to push myself on a plank because when I mm -hmm. heard that Cher can hold a plank for 10 minutes and she's 71, <laughs> I thought, okay, this is definitely on my bucket list. So I'm share. To, oh I'm God. Trying to, share. I'm trying to, yeah, share, and I'm trying to hold a plank, and I mean, I can barely get to 30 seconds, and, mm -hmm. and I'll go right into child's pose, because it, it's, it's hard for me. Mm -hmm. um, you need to work on your core. Well, I need, no, I need to work on my legs, because when I first started doing yeah. this um, about six months ago, I had stopped doing it for a while. Okay. Um, I would gotten very weak and shaky, and my, I mean, legs were just shaking every time I would try and do it. I mean, I've been able to do a pigeon pose, which is incredible that I actually can do that now. Mm -hmm. It's a little modified. My legs are not exactly extended out like they should be, but you can feel that pull and that, mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. know, that muscle that, you know, I haven't used in quite a while starting to really... Pigeon's always good for Pigeon everyone. Pigeon is, is <laughs> awesome and it really... I don't know what that one looks like. Well, maybe we can show Ooh, it Oh, she might be able to show you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That would be awesome. Um, so we're going to show that in a second. Okay. But I want to finish listening to what you were saying about um, your plank. I'm really interested in yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it's just... You know, I started with, you know, at least holding it for, for 10 counts. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, you know, added the 12. Then I added, because I do, I try to do several poses. I just go by my, I do my own thing mm -hmm. at home. Um, and I go by the mat, and the mat shows me how to do the poses. Nice. Um, but, uh, so I'm holding the plank for 10, then I got to 12, then I got to 15, then I got to 20, then I got to 25. And, you know, I'm, I'm almost at, you know, like almost at 30 now, 30 count, and um, I feel my body just starting to go. <laughs> and I was like, wait, wait, wait. But that's when I just kind of go right into child's pose. And it's, it is really helping me to get stronger. And like you said, my core is definitely need, needing a lot of work, but I'm noticing yeah. my legs needed a lot more. Mm -hmm. And See, my mistake. legs are really, really strong. Really? Okay. Really strong. I've always had strong legs. Um, long time ago when the kids were little, in my old world, um, we lived in a house where the backyard went down. Mm -hmm. And we had a hill that everybody sleigh rided on. Of course. <laughs> so I would walk up that hill. Oh, well, really? It's like walking up a cliff. <laughs> and Straight up, was, right? It was. It was very, very... It was very, very um, yes. much at an angle. Okay. And yeah, that's, that's, that's how I got that's tough. strong. Yeah. And it was tough. Yeah. And my bucket list in those days when I was in my late 20s, early 30s, is I'm conquering this hill. Oh. Well, we lived there for 14 years. Oh my so I had a lot of years <laughs> you to did. walk up that hill and conquer wow. that hill. And we would do it when the kids would sleigh ride because yeah. everybody would come down and they were because we had the, yeah. hill the hill to go yeah. sleigh riding yeah. on. Yeah. The hill. And <laughs> I mean, my kids, I'm sure they remember it and putting yeah. the bumps down where they would go up mm -hmm. and go oh, down yeah. on this. Oh, gosh. And we had a lot of fun, but that's why my legs are so strong. Well, because I can do hills like that. Exactly. Well, awesome. When I used to snow ski, I mean, mm -hmm. I did have at one point some really strong legs. I used to water ski, I used to slalom. Um, at one point, had very strong legs, but then, you know, as we get older, I, fortunately, I don't have the access to a boat and you know, a place to go skiing anymore, or the mountains. With we used to go with the children a lot, so yeah. I'm hoping maybe to revive that and and go back. At one point, I couldn't because my osteopenia was so bad mm -hmm. that they said if you break a bone, it's going to take. You're done. A, you're done. You'll yeah. be sitting in a chair probably for five years. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why I kind of backed off of that for a while. So that's you know obviously when the muscles started to atrophy a little bit and I wasn't quite as strong as I used to be. But um, but it's so it's so neat to see yourself getting stronger. Yeah, and, and don't be able to about muscle memory. Yeah, I mean muscle has muscle I, memory. Yes, is you were saying that the other day. I, I really, remember that. I am a firm believer yeah. in muscle memory yeah. because a little over three months ago, and I've talked about this on my show before. So, if it sounds redundant, I'm sorry, but I am so proud of myself. Oh, I myself. think it's great. Um, oh, I yeah. fell and I sprained my left ankle and fell on my right shoulder yeah. and tore my rotator cuff, which was evidently already frayed, and my tricep. Mm. And of course, they wanted to do surgery. It's like, uh, no, I called 
Lisa up the day after I fell. She came over to my house. She put these all, all this magnetic stuff on me. I started drinking bone broth. I started taking other supplements. Mm -hmm. I was taking a supplement with amino acids, collagen, and yes. vitamin C that I take every day. Um, and yeah, look at that. I That's know, amazing. right? And awesome. when I fell on that Sunday, I still did my show on on Thursday. <sighs> I was wrapped she up. She is a trooper. <laughs> You're it's dedicated. Like show. I love that. Very dedicated. Very dedicated. I couldn't move my arm. Mm. I didn't watch the kids that week, but I can do this now, and now I'm ready to go back to exercise. There you because go. I had to put everything on hold. Exactly. My addiction is knitting. I love to knit. <laughs> I used to have a yarn store years ago. I love to knit, yeah, but I haven't so. knitted for three months. Oh, wow. Because mm. of your shoulder. Because of my shoulder. Because I was so motivated yeah. to fix this mm -hmm. so I would not have to go into the allopathic route yeah. because I wasn't doing that. Yeah. I was going to do everything short of doing that. It wasn't and you did happen. it. And, and I, I did it. You did and it. That determination, that intention. Is, right. And yeah. I also did the yoga in July and I could do a plank for a few seconds mm -hmm. and we did the vinyasa yoga and it's like, wow, yeah. I can really hold myself up. Isn't that awesome? And isn't that like a sense of freedom like in, yes. in your body? Right. I, I love that. Right. right. And it surprised me mm -hmm. because yeah. they said, okay, we're going to do this. And yeah. it's like, and I didn't, you know, I didn't even think about it. I just did it. You just did it. Yeah. And then I thought afterwards, I can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I really can do this. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I like to put a little fire under my mm -hmm. ladies and yeah. during my class because you do impress yourself. Yes. Your your expectations for what you can do and what your body can really do, there's you often a little gap there. Yeah. You know, if we just give trust ourselves and try it, you'll yeah. be so surprised what you're really able well, to do. There, there's one, and I don't know what it's called, but where you, you lay on your stomach, and it's the old things you used to do when you were a child, and you put your legs behind you, and you pull them up. Oh, yeah. I remember when I first tried to do that six months ago, I couldn't even get that far off the ground, but now, when I, you know, there's a, that little bit of, you know, anticipation, can I do this? And mm -hmm. I get down, and, and I really surprise myself, and I'm, like, pulling my legs up going, look at you. You, couldn't, pose, you, could, yes. you couldn't do this six yeah. months ago. No. Or you kind of did it, you know. My legs were shaking the whole time I was trying to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and also trying to hold the, um, was it where you're sitting like this with your your legs. Mm -hmm. um, like been, a butterfly pose like with the feet together? With the feet yeah. together. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to hold that for at least 30 counts now. Mm -hmm. um, and noticing my legs are just starting to sink, sink down. down yes, now. Yes, I know, yes, so yes. they're not up anymore like they used to be. So that's that's cool. awesome. Yeah. That's what I love about yoga. You, you know, breathing is yeah. so important oh my goodness. when you're doing anything, yep. yoga, mm -hmm. driving your car, taking care of your kids, doing the dishes. Yeah. You have to breathe properly and not up in your lungs. Mm -hmm. You know, you have mm -hmm. to breathe through your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. My sisters, I have two sisters, and my mother all had their gallbladders out. Mm -hmm. And I have a degree in vocal performance. Oh, wow. I didn't know you had that. Look at you. Yeah, well. That's what got me into college, my voice. Okay. I could sing like a bird. But anyhow, having said that, 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 I didn't know that. Having <laughs> things you learn on Marilyn's show. <laughs> having said that, I, everybody has said, Marilyn, you're going to have to have your gallbladder out. It's hereditary. Yeah. Your sisters and your mom had their gallbladder mm. out. And I did not take that on. One day I was doing some research because it's, it, it just befuddled me. Yeah. Why I don't have this problem. Mm -hmm. Well, I found out that when people sing as I know, right. they massage all their organs because you are breathing from your diaphragm. I did not and know by that. massaging my organs, by breathing properly, wow. I was massaging my gallbladder and that's how I'm keeping it healthy. That's, a, wow. that's amazing. Now I have one stone in there, but at my age I'm, I, I'll deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really watch what I eat a lot more. That's There's certain true. things I cannot eat, like yeah. I can't eat raw broccoli. I can't mm -hmm. eat raw cruciferous yeah. vegetables. I can eat them steamed, but I can't eat them Well, raw. the raw, yeah. you have to be careful with going you on a raw diet. Careful. If you, you your body's not used to it, you are going right. to detox, and it's not, not and it's pretty. And it's not pleasant. It's not pretty. Mm -hmm. And I, I've kept my gallbladder, and I was I was writhing on the floor in pain, and mm. I was, you know, praying a lot, and I said, you know, if I have to have it out, I have to have it out. But then I talked to a friend of ours who's a naturopath, and she said, Lisa, you can still have the same symptoms. Mm -hmm. that you do now and you can also regrow a pouch and I thought really oh, wow. so then my mm -hmm. determination my intention was to keep my gallbladder oh yeah for I two mean, years I, I had the magnet strapped right on top of my gallbladder mm. 
and I'll never forget the last time I felt a stone move. And it, and it was for three hours I was in pain and just crying, and it finally moved. And after that, I've not had any trouble since then. Well, I haven't had any problem, but years mm -hmm. ago I had I had issues. So how, how are you managing to avoid pain? Are you just changing well, your diet? Well, she watches what she eats. I watch, she I watch what I eat. I do wear magnets all the time. I'm definitely magnetized. <laughs> um, but I also do, I did a liver detox. Okay. Um, I actually did the tinctures that, that you can do with that, mm -hmm. and I actually saw sto stones in my stool. There is oh, wow. a yeah. good liver. There is a good liver slash gallbladder detox that I've used with mm -hmm. clients before, nice. and it's very very helpful. You can go to Cure, it's no fun. Curezone.com. Uh, you can look up all kinds of, of Curezone.com, friends. Curezone.com. You can look up a lot of things. Yeah. Um, it's a good one to definitely going to gonna check some out. Yeah. yeah, but there is a good. I have a good gallbladder flush that I have used before myself but when you do a flush like that friends make sure that you're going to stay home for the weekend yes it's like having the flu right yeah it does right. it, it, yeah. but you'll feel better afterwards but you and will. you'll feel lighter yeah. you know it, it's amazing and yeah. you can and you'll see the stones that you pass right it's, it's absolutely incredible of course mine were not fresh uh, sorry a little tmi um but mine were actually white stones that i saw i mean so they mm -hmm. had actually been there they've been could, calcified you could tell they'd been calcified mm -hmm. and been there for years yeah yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you know, we do have things in our body that have been there for years, yep. and you've got to learn to start detoxing. Yep. Now that it's the new season, it's the new, we're it's a approaching great time fall. To yep. yeah. We are approaching, aha, the kids are going back to school. <laughs> yeah. They already have Halloween stuff out. I, I know, right? That. that is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. They just rush everything. I, I know. They do. Yeah. I, yeah. I said to my husband, I said, pumpkins already? <laughs> well, and somebody's been out for a couple Somebody of was weeks. doing a countdown on Facebook uh, for, for Christmas. I said, please. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> it, they push it enough. You know, they have Christmas in July. We, they we've push really it gotten away from the whole thing about what Christmas is all about. I mean, when I was a kid, you didn't see anything until the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just yeah. didn't. But yeah. now it's everything. Yeah, it's a little bit. So, definitely um, commercialized. <laughs> Right, to commercialize. Yeah. Speaking of commercials, yes. um, we have a couple sponsors. Lisa, what do you want to talk about? Lisa's one of our sponsors, and um, I appreciate her. I just can't stress enough how, how much Lisa has been a very, very um, integral light part of my life. Um, Thank you. We're doing a HEAL yes. meeting on September 12th down at Residence. It, I am the host. Yes, you are. So come down, and we're going to have a good time. Yeah. Um, it's at six thirty, right? Six o'clock. I've I changed it to six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six to eight. Um, six to eight. And HEAL stands for Holistic Educators Affecting Lives. Right. So we are mm, Holistic Educators that. Affecting Lives. We'd love to lives. have you come. We'd love for you to yes. come. We'd love for you to come. Um, so if any, and you don't have to and be it's holistic. Free. It's, <laughs> you free. Don't, it's free. You don't have, if you want to know more about this is to the holistic world that yeah. we live in, Come. Yeah, it's to educate the community. Right. It's yeah. all about people don't know what their options are, just like I didn't know my options 14 years ago. And, right. Uh, prayed a lot about it and finally found magnets, thank goodness, um, because that actually started me on my road to recovery. But what I want to talk about is being mindful with our balance and in our environments, not just mm -hmm. our, our body per se, mm -hmm. but the environment, what we live in. You know, our water, uh, Nikon has wonderful water filters that yeah, I talk about. Yeah, these are about. awesome. Um, yeah, it's not just, you know, you can put plain water in it, but the magnets in there filter it to better stuff. Yeah, it's got a nice big filter in it, and uh, it'll put uh, alkalinity in it and your ionization to help with free radical damage. I love that. Mm -hmm. Where do we find these bottles? And you can find it on my website. Um, it's www.nikan.com forward slash Lisa Healthy. But, it, you know, looking at our environment, looking at the water, looking at our sleep. I talk about sleep. Mm -hmm. I teach sleep at University of Richmond. And it's so important that we understand that, you know, all of this feeds into our self-care, uh, our self-healing. And it's only because of this that I've been able to, you know, get myself on the on path to healing and um, get off. I was on 10 prescribed pills a day 14 years ago. So that's what I try to do is educate um, people on their environments. Uh, I use the emotion code technique to help us get rid of those emotions. Yeah, that, that emotion back. code, she's done that with me before. That is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really um, opens up a lot of blocks. If you don't think you have baggage, we all have baggage. We do. And it's we hidden. It's <laughs> hidden it is. in our memory, in our psyche, and sometimes things come up 
I'll be driving down the road. It's like, where did this come from? <laughs> this happened 30 years 30 ago. 30 years ago. Why is this coming back now, right? Yeah. So yeah. what I do is I just put it in a jet and send it off. But a lot of times I think about Lisa and just doing it this way and it goes away. Yeah. Mm. Just, so. yeah that intention of, of right. releasing it. Yeah. Um, and, and taking it out of the body. And then, of course, you know, helping people with nutrition and water and uh, sleep. So all of this helps us create that healthy home. Right, and the balance. And I wanted to show you an exercise. Yes. That's the word I was ah. thinking of for an exercise. An exercise. <laughs> On balance, because that's what we were talking about. Now, I want everybody to try this. We're all going to, you guys don't have to try it. Michael is in. You just can sit there. And you're like, huh? Uh, yeah, they're going, huh? <laughs> what? But I want you all, you sit straight up and you put one hand in front and one hand in back, and Zen's going to do it anyhow. He cracks me up. And just feel the energy. Michael's going to do it too. <laughs> We're all doing it at Healthy Living with Marilyn. Yes, that's why we're here. Can you feel, can you feel the difference? Can I feel, you feel that the energy. energy. I really I do. do. Yes. Okay. Like and then hug yourself. Hug yourself. I love this part. Say, I love you. I love you. I love me. I love, I love, me. love oh, yeah. me. Right. I love me. This is <laughs> wonderful. Isn't this great? It Don't is. Don't you wow. feel good? I, I feel that, that energy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And then put your hands on your thighs and just think about balancing balancing yourself it's not balancing it's just total balance it's total balance mm -hmm. and then bring your hands up like this because what you're doing is as Malika said earlier you are balancing the entire inside of your body right Malika yeah you're connecting with the connecting center mass, with your inner self grounding down right and we all need to be grounded. Yes, we do. Yeah. And then to give out the energy, you bring your hands out like this. So you know what you did just did with us? What? You did a little short self-reiki treatment. Oh, oh I know that. Yeah. And that's exactly yeah. what a self-reiki treatment can do for us. Mm -hmm. It can just bring us to a nice grounded place. Mm -hmm. You can do this when you're sitting in the car. You can. Instead of looking at your phone. <laughs> You know, when you're at a at a stoplight, mm -hmm. or just if you're in a parking lot, immediately feel light. And yes, I know, right? You that, do. That light you feel like it you're does. springing totally from a bottom, from yeah. a base. Right. You're connected with foundation. Right. You're just yeah. so if you from feel there. like you can't get focused, mm -hmm. yeah. do this exercise because it will help. I guarantee you, it will help you get focused. Well, it's mindfulness, right? Mm -hmm. It really is mindfulness. It's, mindfulness. it's mind, body, spirit. Right. Right. And healthy living for mind, body, and spirit. That's what my goal is with healthy living with Marilyn. Mm -hmm. It's so important for us to enjoy a healthy life. Mm -hmm. I love waking up in the morning and I'm not in pain. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. And that doesn't yes. happen to everybody all the time. And no, no, no. And, and I don't think they believe it can happen. Well, I, know. I, I didn't. That people 14 often years don't ago, believe. you know what I used to say? No one can help me. Hmm. That's what I used to say 14 years ago. No one can help me. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to have to live with this pain 24-7 in my back. And, you know, I'd be washing the dishes. All I had to do was lean over just a little bit. I'm in the floor. My husband comes in. What are you doing? I said, what do you think I'm doing? You know, all I had to do was bend my back just that much, and I'm in the floor. I'm yeah. out because that pain just grabbed me. It was so, it, does. it, w it was just incredibly, yeah. you know. I mean, I see that with clients all the time. They often, we have to work on just them trusting that their body can heal. Exactly. That it can improve. And believe it. Have that yeah, intention. and believe that it can actually happen. Have that intention that I will heal. And that's what I, where I was 14 years ago. I said, mm -hmm. I will heal myself. Mm -hmm. I will also heal my family that needs it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and then it was like, okay, now what are you going to do? I was like, well, I'm going to help other people. Right. right. Expanding. I, yeah. yeah. Right. So that's why we do what we do. That's why we live in the holistic world. And we would love for you to come to the HEAL yes, would love meeting at 6 o'clock on September 12th. It's going to be a good meeting. And if you're not, it's okay. It's okay. If you want to yeah. know more about what we do. Please come. And because we live in a different and world. Tell them again where, where it's at. It's at Residence at Float. Sycamore Square Float on the sound. south side. At, re, at Residence Float, Float and Sound. sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what else do you do besides yoga and Reiki? And you do 
You do wellness. You're a wellness coach. I'm a wellness coach. Mm -hmm. um, right. I lead. We just completed just a woman's retreat a women's last retreat. weekend. Oh, wow. Yes, phenomenal. this past weekend. And I want to go, but she weekend. let me know too late. Oh, yeah. Yeah, next, we connected. Next time. We just connect, when right. Akila. Yeah, so we had connected the week of the retreat. Um, mm. It was this past Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, this is our second one. I head an organization, Events for Women, and the goal of that organization is just to bring more holistic events to the Richmond DMV area. Mm -hmm. um, so really anything, anything that can have a holistic undertone, um, focus on women because our belief yeah. is that when you teach women, you offer um, information and knowledge to women, it expands to families. Yes. And right. Then exactly. it can grow to society. Yes. So we're just going to hone in our, mm -hmm. our specialty to women and let it let the women carry it into the community Wonderful. from there. Um, so the way that we wanted to start our kind of um, grassroots program is the retreat. This is our second annual one, and it's all it's called Heal, Grow, Love, Repeat. Oh wow! And it's all about uh, teaching women that they can heal, yes. um, giving them the tools to do that mental growth, to, do, uh, to find mental clarity, yeah. um, to experiment with just what holistic living mm -hmm. feels like. For a lot of women, they don't know it. You know, they don't know it. They don't know what that self-reflection feels mm -hmm. like. They don't know how to use. Um, how important positive affirmation can really affect their lives and affect their immediate mood like instantly. Um, so I, th I think it's just for me, it's uh, my passion is to connect with newbies, with people who are like completely outside of the holistic world, yes. bring them into it and watch those smiles wow. just you know, light up. up when they just feel they, the first time they, they do They radiate. It. Yeah, they, they do radiate. their first positive affirmation. It's in words that they can understand in English. Yeah. And they see and they feel that immediate connection, that yeah. immediate warmth, with whatever it is they're trying to send a vibration in their life for. Yeah. And um, we just have a weekend that transforms us. And the idea is heal, grow, love, yeah. and then repeat. Keep carrying this Keep on until yeah. next year when we see you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's our weekend. We have um, health coaches, life coaches, holistic nutritionists, um, communication workshops. We have sister circles where we just kind of have a topic and we can really just explore it. Um, we just connect with nature. It's always a big important part of the, of the retreat. I agree. Nature is... It's so healing. You, you can't go talk about healing, healing without yeah. nature. No. And yeah. if you have time during your weekend, we got a long weekend coming up. Mm -hmm. If you have time, go out and just go smell the roses. Yeah. Just go look at the flowers. Go for Feel a walk. Feel the texture of the grass. Yeah. Right. Get know. grounded. Take your shoes off and go put your toes in the grass. Mm -hmm. Go to the beach if you get a chance. Yeah. Um, get your feet in the sand. Get yourself grounded. Yeah. Believe me that when I say that you guys are amazing. You all really are amazing. You do amazing things. You might not think that you are amazing. But every day if you've looked at my Facebook page, Every morning I put out does have such you, you are amazing. <laughs> I put out all these and I think about them and what those are my words, yeah. what I put out there mm -hmm. and at the end it's be amazing because yeah. I want everybody to be amazing. Everybody. In fact, Judy and I are doing a retreat yeah. next in in October, in October right? on yeah. the thirteenth, fourteenth and fifteenth called Creating the Amazing You. Our retreat is for men and women. Mm hmm so we're not gender specific. Yeah. Um, it's going to be at the Hyatt Place up at Short Pump, um, the night of the 13th of October, the 14th all day, and the 15th. Um, you can go to our website, www.creatingtheamazingyou, and check it out. And if you want to get more information, you want to sign up, send a check. It's fifty dollars just to save your seat. Okay. And. Um, you can just call me on the phone, 804-350-0034. Or you can email me. My email's on there. It's topprioritylc at gmail.com. My umbrella company is called Top Priority LLC because I want everybody's yes. life and health to be their top priority. Mm. That's wonderful. Because yeah. you have to have yourself be your top priority. Yeah. Because there's not anybody that's going to tap you on the shoulder and say, Hey, Marilyn, I see you're not doing good. Let me help you. <laughs> that doesn't happen. No, it doesn't. You have mm -hmm. to take responsibility for your own life. Mm -hmm. If you want to lose weight, like I want to lose weight, you got to watch what you eat. 
you got to exercise. You have to drink water. You have to stay hydrated. I can't sp stress that and enough. And you need to sleep. No way. And you need to sleep. Lisa is a professor, an adjunct professor at the U of R, University of Richmond. She is so big into sleep. Yes. And I'm big into sleep because <laughs> I need my sleep. I can't run on six hours of sleep a night. No one. Mm. I well, need seven well, to eight I'll hours. Well, I'll get right. No one can, but there is a. a, a you said there's a three percent. There's three percent of the popula population that can do well in six hours, and they are an anomaly. Um, yeah. Very few people can do well in six hours of sleep. I can't. I can do well maybe one day on six hours of well, sleep. Well, if you have to, that's right. If um, I have to. If you have to, we, we are but resilient. But if I don't have to, I'm not doing I it. I don't blame yeah. you. Why, why do it? Why yeah. do it? And yeah. if you are going to get up at, at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning and exercise, please make sure you're going to bed at 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to get you that sleep. You have to get that sleep. It's, you know, Jacob said to me last week, he says, Grandma, I'm too old to take a nap. <laughs> I looked at him and I said, Grandma's too old not to take a nap. <laughs> That's right. We'll take one together. That, well, that didn't work that, that day. That didn't work that day. So, um, <laughs> but that's what he said that Aww. day. And I said, you take a nap to rejuvenate yes. yourself. My mm -hmm. mother will say, I didn't do anything today. I slept all day. It's like, well, that's good, Mom. Yeah. She says, well, I didn't do anything. That's fine that's because fine. you're rejuvenating your body. Mm -hmm. You're giving your body the energy that it needs. You're healing. For whatever's going on in your body, you're healing yourself. Yes. Yeah. And that is so important. The, pro the period that you can prolong your healing is really astronomical without the proper sleep. Right. So yes. we should really consider that, especially yes. if we're healing from a surgery or an injury. Yeah. Um, I work with a lot of knee care clients and it's like on their treatment care plan and they're yes. like why are you talking about sleep on yoga it's like because the work that we do together yes. can be completely ineffective if you're not sleeping that's right exactly. you're not you know if you're eating a lot of inflammatory food mm -hmm. so it's just certain things while we're yeah. going through you know our knee care process and yeah. our, our sessions together that are really relevant yes. and right. I think people are still connecting the dots to that holistic thing yeah. And they're 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 taken aback by a practitioner that's actually doing something holistic. Like I know, I teach yoga, yes, yes. but if we're going to be effective, we need to approach it in a holistic way. And people are just like, really? You know, that makes sense. You know, you just see <laughs> the, them connecting the dots, the dots and you're like, yeah. And then you get great results. Yes. And then you know, you yeah. tell friends, and you know, I hope that just this holistic lifestyle continues to spread. It's like a big circle mm -hmm. around you. Yeah, you just mm -hmm. can't eat well and expect to be healthy. It's this circle. You have to be hydrated. You have to make sure that you're t getting your me time. Mm -hmm. And if you're having problems getting your me time, make a date with yourself and put it on the calendar. Yeah, it's really so right. much easier to do it that way. I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. This is my time. For me. For me. Yeah. This is me time. Put it me, make it me time on your calendar so you know when that comes up that that's when you're going to yeah. have your time. When I exercise, I put that on my calendar because yeah. if I've paid for the exercise, I sure as heck don't want to miss it. Yep. yep. Yo you know? Yoga's on my calendar. Sleep is on my calendar. Uh, breaks great. are on my calendar. Yep. I have breaks on there. And we have to take it seriously. Yeah. We I do have sometimes, to Sometimes, I mean, I can speak for myself, sometimes I will schedule something and, you know, a client will call yes. or someone well, needs we have something to be, and we have to be flexible. so quickly. Yes. And so willing to give up that spot, you know, it's almost like it's not even there. Okay, well, you know, you know, the I appointment used, with myself is not that important. I used to do that, you know, when somebody would call, do you have a couple minutes? Yeah, I got a couple minutes. Now, I let it go to voicemail. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to a meeting at night and I'm too tired and I don't want to get all foo fooed up like I am right now, foo -fooed up. I don't go. <laughs> yeah. I used to go. I used to push myself and yeah. push myself. Mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore. No. I'm getting too old for that. Yeah. You know, and it's not that you guys are old. I'm not old either. I mean, age-wise, I'm um, up there, but I don't feel old. My mm -hmm. body does. My body has not gotten the message that I'm 64 years old. You're too wise for that. Is what you mean? <laughs> well, you know, I tell people I feel better now than I did in my 20s. I do too. Yeah, because I, 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 I didn't take care of myself. But I was thin back then. Um, I, I lost over 75 pounds because I, oh, I gained wow. a lot of weight. Being on the pills, not sleeping, mm -hmm. uh, not eating right, um, not sleeping right. Um, not sleeping can actually make you gain weight. Um, 
right? But yeah, but um, but yeah, because it's stress. Because it's and stress. And you gain weight right here mm -hmm. when your cortisol level gets up. Because if you're under stress, your cortisol level it rises. Yeah, yes, and it that's does. when you. That's and that, when you. That's gain what, another weight. thing that I love about yoga yeah. is because there's often there's that balance between yes. that intensity of the workout, but then there's always the self care, the yep. love, the rest at the end, mm -hmm. and with you know other intense trainings is just all focused on the yeah. um you know the stimulating work mm -hmm. and there's not a yeah. lot of letdown so yes. it can be a stressor for a lot of people yeah. and they'll find you know you'll do yoga for three weeks and you'll see notice my belly is really coming down yes. when i've done other workouts that didn't happen well maybe because you're taking that that nice savasana, that relaxation at the end that's providing you something you've never had before, a tool to bring right. those cortisol levels down exactly. and help and combat that belly you. fat. Yes. Yeah. Do for you. It is so important to do for you. That's why I talk about this all the time on my show. And I know I sound redundant, but for people who haven't watched my show, you have to do for you. You do. It's so important. You take do. a class. Yeah. I mean, you got to you got to take take stock in what is important for you. Yeah. You know, we we all have jobs, we all have people that we have yeah. to um, communicate with, we have families that we have to take care of, you know, um, Malika has two young children, five and two, and they're boys, so she's probably running around quite a bit chasing after these kids. Sure you are. I, I mean, am. I have a 35-year-old son, and sometimes having him is like having 25 kids. <laughs> so, I mean, he's very, he was and very, And don't forget about my husband. I have to yeah, chase him, too. Yeah, you have to take care of him, too. <laughs> that is our um, job. That's our job. That's our job. Yeah. Um, a whole lot of chasing. Yes, it is. So, you know, but you have to spend time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Take time to meditate. It's really important to meditate. Um, at my, my retreat, we're going to have um, activities, meditation activities that we're going to have there. Are we going to do help. a little meditation today? Oh, do we yeah. have time? Yeah, yeah, of course we have time. We have a little bit of time. Good. So okay. do a short you want three minutes? Lead? No, I mean, if you'd like for me to lead, sure. Yeah, yes, you're my guest. So <laughs> oh, on our 20th guest. show. On my 20th show. Yeah, so let's do a little bit of med meditation. Okay. That would be great. Go ahead. You're on. Right. Okay. Well, this is my favorite, one of my favorite things to do. Okay. So the first thing that we always need to do is just find a comfortable seat. You know, adjust yourself so that you feel comfortable. I'd like to have a little support on my back, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. <clears throat> there you go. So I have the nice little comfy pillow, but then you also want to be supporting yourself. So take a minute to move the flesh from sitting bones. You actually move it so that you can ground down through those sitting bones okay. and you feel a little bit more balanced in your seat. Mm -hmm. So from there, okay. we're able to just feel our posture rising up, focusing on that crown, the very top of our head, just kind of lifting skyward, raising toward the sky. And feel that line from the base of the body through the spine, reaching up toward the crown and everything else is allowed to hang down. The shoulders can relax away from the ears. The weight of our arms can get heavy at our sides. Maybe we'd like to place our hands in our lap. And it's also nice to turn the palms upward. So if we're looking for just a meditation that would create openness, it's nice to have the hands up. If you're looking for something that's going to ground you and maybe you're feeling it a bit anxious or stressed, turning the palms down would be a good option. So you do what feels good for you. So find your placement of your hands. Again, relaxing the arms at our sides. And for me, everything begins with that breath. That is where our connection begins. So let's just focus on our belly. Push the belly forward as you inhale. Really feel the belly pushing on the waistband. As you exhale, breathe through your mouth. Just cleanse some of that old stagnant energy. So big breath in through nose. Exhale through the mouth. Maybe once or twice more like that. Deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Good. Now begin to allow your breath to be more easy and steady. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. It's nice to close the eyes, or maybe we'd like to focus the eyes on a certain place. And as the eyes close, allow a piece of the mind to kind of quiet down as well. As thoughts come to the mind, gently brush them away. 
And allow your focus to be on that easy, gentle breath in and out of the nose. Every inhale, feel yourself rising more skyward. Every exhale, feel a more easiness through the body. As your mind makes that connect, connection with the breath, let's come into our quiet meditation for another minute or two. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Good. Slowly open the eyes. Maybe wiggles with your fingers and toes. Bring energy back to body. Good. It's nice to just release some of the tension that may have built in the neck. Chin to the chest. Allow the head to just rock freely side to side. And it's nice to come out of our intention, out of our meditation with an intention. So as you raise your head, maybe you'd like to bring your hands to heart center, just to get grounded and centered. And set a brief, easy meditation of how you'd like to walk about from this point forward. I embrace peace. I embrace success. I embrace productivity, whatever we need in this moment. And with that, nice inhale through nose, release through mouth. <sighs> Thank you. Very, very, very sweet, nice. Sweet. That's beautiful. Yeah. Short and sweet. Yeah. yeah. But don't you feel grounded, right? Oh, yeah. And I actually feel a little more awake. I was getting a little yeah, drowsy yeah, right? tonight. <laughs> Which oh. is nice. Sometimes people think meditation makes you sleepy, but it, it, it can no, revive you. No, a lot of times it'll revive you. It does, yeah. yeah. Yes. It'll it revive does. you. Mm -hmm. I do a meditation in the morning, as I might do one at night. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been taking a meditation class um, online that has been very helpful. Mm -hmm. actually because I really needed to get focused. Um, there are times when I feel like a butterfly. And I have, it's, there are times when ADD gets into my body and yeah. I can't get out. And that's when, when you have that and you're doing this and then you say, no, I have to do this or yeah. I have to do that. Mm -hmm. That's when you're not grounded. That's when you're not focused. And it can happen to any of us. It happens to all of us. Yes, it does. <laughs> and um, when I get like that, I, the best thing to do is just stop and evaluate what's going on with you right now because if you think, well, I gotta do the yeah. dishes, no, I gotta do the wash, no, I gotta do, don't think about that. Stop and reevaluate what's going on mm -hmm. and finish one project, whatever it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Take that really minute or two to ground, right? and then it'll come to you what you need to do what you need you to do, do. If, right. if you need help with that insight timer is wonderful insight timer is fantastic it's insight timer insight yeah. insight timer mm -hmm. and i'll put it on is meditation. that an app yeah it's an app and it's free and i'll put it on meditation yeah yeah and go ahead and i'd like to just add one more note about meditation if it's okay go ahead. um i think people you know there's there's no one right way that meditation no, has to be um, there's not a special way you have to sit. It's not a special environment you have to create. I think that's all very intimidating to mm -hmm. incorporate into our busy lives. So I think people just knowing that meditation can be what we need it to be. Yeah. It's just stillness of your physical body and that stillness of physical body such as transfer to your mind and let your mind be still and just that is the way you find the rejuvenation. So for people always ask me, how do you meditate? I can't meditate. My advice is always to just 
Be get still. still in the body mm -hmm. and then give yourself something for the mind to focus on, something simplistic mm -hmm. within you, your breath. Yeah. And then take a step further when you get master of that is mm -hmm. to start to listen to your heartbeat. If you can really quiet, you'll start hearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. you will. You know, and the yeah. minute you get distracted, the sound goes away. Mm -hmm. Bring that attention inward. And that, that is a meditation. It's very helpful. That's our very meditation. helpful. One thing I want to say, um, I have another friend, Ed Peterson. Yeah. He has a company called Virginia, well, he has a group called Virginia Harmonaires. And they are... Um, they're a gospel quartet Ooh. of um, older gentlemen, okay. and they're, they're wonderful. I've heard them numerous times. They're going to be at the Fall Barbecue Festival on September 16th um, at the, in Chesapeake at 1832 Elbow Road, but they don't know what time it's going to be. So we'll talk about that more later on. I will be away with my husband. It will be our 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to the beach. Nice. nice. We are going to the beach. Well, congratulations. So, yeah, thank Great. you. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Really excited about that. So, um, but I just want to recap to make sure that everybody knows about balance and doing the exercise that we did earlier and realizing how important it is to do things for you. Mm -hmm. um, try to learn about, we're going to talk about more in the future on homeopathy and herbs and mm -hmm. magnets and different ways that you can take care of yourself naturally without having to go to the doctor. 90% of the people who go to the doctor, it's stress related. And one of the things yes. that we talked about tonight was reducing your stress. stress. Not talking about stress that much, but reducing it. Because it's really important to reduce your stress. Stress does funky things to our bodies. We can have heart attacks. We can have strokes. We can have um, high blood pressure. Um, you can have elevated I mean, there's a lot of things that can happen to you. Digestive disorders. Oh, yeah. That's a big yeah, one. That is a big one. That's, that's a, a huge one. one. That's a huge one. That's a huge one for me yeah. because mm -hmm. when I'm under stress, I get digestive disorders. Yeah. Well, that's where that's where well, our goes. second brain is right that's here. That's right. So remember, <laughs> your, your brain and your colon, your digestive system, they are brother and sister. So we got connection. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So think about the brain gut connection. You can look, Google it. Um, I'm going to be putting another blog out. I got a blog on my website. Look at my website www.healthylivingwithmarilyn.com. There's a blog out there. I got a brand new one out this past week. I was so yes. proud of myself. Oh, you go, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, I know. it takes I, a long I, time. I haven't done. Lot. I need to get one out. I haven't done it yet. So. <laughs> So it takes a long time, you know, you're thinking blogging is easy. It takes a long time it, to write a blog. It really does. And you know? the editing. It takes and a lot of editing. thought, a lot of thought. Yes. And reading and it time. and making sure and that it doesn't sound stupid yeah. and <laughs> that people can understand it and, and comprehend it yes. and relate. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that's the important thing. So writing is not as easy as everybody no. thinks it is. It's but not. if you stay focused enough, yeah. if you do enough puzzles, you'll be able to write quite a bit. There you go. Enough right? puzzles. I love the puzzle. the puzzle. Maybe, yeah. maybe, that, maybe that's the pre. Um, maybe that's the prerequisite, prerequisite <laughs> to getting a blog. I got puzzles I can give you, okay. if, you want, if you want a puzzle, <laughs> Lisa. Um, or we could do a puzzle together because they can be intricate. Yes. Puzzles can be intricate. Yes, they, they really can. can but. <laughs> It's good to keep you focused. Yes. So try something new. Mm -hmm. Go get a puzzle or go get a coloring book. Try something new. Coloring, book, coloring yeah. books yes. are in right now for adults. They're really great. I've got several of my own. And it helps keep you focused. Mm -hmm. And it's a good way to meditate when you're coloring. Or That's sit, another good way to or, meditate. Or sit, yeah, to just sit extract swing. from everything in life. Right, yeah. and just Go swing. Do for you, you yeah. know. Go swing. swing. Go swing. And yeah. please don't forget to remind them about grounding and nature. Grounding and nature. Taking that breath outside. And how can get it, they get in touch with you real fast because we got the music You can going. follow me on my Facebook page. It's Pure Yoga. You do need the dots. P.U.R.E. Pure Yoga and Wellness. And we are in Richmond, Virginia. Find me on Facebook or you can go to www.pureyogarva.com. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. And thank you, Malika. I really appreciate both of you being here. I and appreciate your time you. and your energy. And remember, change your life today. Yeah. So we...
There we go. Change your life today, everybody. And drink water. <laughs> and drink water. Stay Lots hydrated. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>